this point, we're looking at a rezoning of up to approximately 161 units, um, targeting a parking ratio of around 1.2, 1.5 parking spaces per unit. Our unit mix is currently right now looking at about 60% one bedroom, 40% two bedroom, which is what we find to be favorable in the market for this type of product. So again, it's kind of a, a luxury upscale, um, four-story uh, development that would be plush with amenities, you know, both indoor and outdoor. Um, this is to target those seeking more of an amenity-enriched environment with the high-end finishes for the units, not necessarily the larger, um, you know, three-bedroom style unit. So this is more of a, you know, some people say luxury, boutique, but to, to give you a feel of that, um, the higher end um, amenities and finishes. Uh, just a question on what kind of amenities you're talking about, like workout room, uh, whatever, whatever? Absolutely, yeah. Interior will be um, a workout type room, a, a lounge entertainment area. Um, a lot of those type of areas, um, we're looking to encourage social interaction. So it's not necessarily to have closed off spaces in the building, but more of common area open space to then from a design aspect, transition that to the outdoor space, which will include a pool, uh, pool deck area, and then various both recreation uh, type amenities and also um, some passive and sitting gathering amenities. So, you know, that could be a fire pit, that could be uh, a bocce ball is very popular these days. Um, you know, those type of amenities, you know, walking trail systems that meander um, throughout the green space area. And to give a feel for, to explain the site plan there, what we've done is really um, taken advantage of the river view in the area, um, you know, to the southeast of the site, I'll say, and really try to really capture those vistas that I think we could create a really neat, you know, design for that site. So this is intended as a market rate rental property? Absolutely, yes. Okay, uh, condominiums and not yeah, I understand the past, uh, which I was not affiliated with, of course, but the last um, uh, application or proposal in front of you was for senior living. That is not the case here. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, no pool? Yeah, there will be a pool. Be pool. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what's the um, average rent on, on, the, on this? We will be looking right now, I would say around you know, 900 to 1300 um, you know, and, and again, these there's a lot of factors that go into the specific, you know, I, I hate to give vague ranges like that, but once we get into specific unit sizes and, you know, start making final decisions on, you know, where all that lies, that'll dictate it. But to give you a, a, a feel, you know, we're looking at that higher end per unit size versus the, you know, more moderate. You're making a decision to come here and rent, not you're, you know, it's rented by choice. Is, is a good so when you decided to do, that you thought this was a good spot for this type of development. Absolutely, yes. Um, what were the factors that, that made you think that there was a market for it? A market in, for the specific site or the area? For that specific site. Sure, uh, I think there's a huge demand in this area, in Loveland, generally just for a higher end residential product. I think this site, I'm very attracted to this site because there's a huge drive in demand. We'll see, this is something that's kind of nationwide. People are saying, I like urban living. I like urban development. I like that feel, but I might not necessarily want to be in the downtown Cincinnati or downtown Chicago or downtown Boston market um, for a couple of reasons. I mean, number one, people might have grew up here and lived here and sometimes their entire childhood or lives, they, they might live in a, currently close by and want this type of feel and atmosphere being the specific type of site, but they still want to live in Loveland. And that's, a, that's something that we'll, we, we've been seeing kind of nationwide as a trend towards, call it the suburban urban lifestyle feel with this type of product. And so I think this site specifically I like the, the traffic, I like the excitement that we're just, you know, not too far from where we're sitting right now. 
um, to where you know th there are some apartment options down here. They've been, my understanding is very successful, um, but we're really just expanding the excitement of, call it the core area of Loveland, just a bit outside the immediate downtown. Yeah, we are.